Good day guys, my name is Ben and welcome to my channel. Uh, now today I'm gonna compare the WaveShares GameHeads uh, IPS display uh, with few of the other display options out there like uh, an analog uh, screen, um, an SPI uh, screen that is readily available, a couple of variants of that um, and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, WaveShares HDMI screen as well. Uh, both 3.5 and 4.5 I think or 5.2 I'm not sure but I've got a couple of options here so we can compare the colors uh, screen brightness and just the overall quality uh, now keep in mind that um, HDMI screens uh, like the one on the game head and the analog screens runs at 60 FPS uh, and it gives you the best uh, picture quality and motion out there. Uh, SPI screens depending upon uh, which Raspberry Pi you're using it's gonna be a bit more tricky like with Raspberry Pi 0 it only works at 30 FPS uh, with Raspberry Pi 3 it can go up to 60 FPS but some of the main uh, sort of very intensive games uh, may not work uh, at full speed because it, it does use a GPU core uh, in order to uh, make it run faster. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, run the demo on Adventure Island 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System for all of the screens. Uh, and I'll, uh, while I'm doing that, I'll, I'll check the, I'll rotate the screen around as well, uh, so you can check the viewing angles. So here I have a uh, analog uh, screen that I used for making a, a Game Boy with my Raspberry Pi 3. I've done a video on that before, so check it out if you uh, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, just gonna start this game now. Analog screen like this one has the four by three ratio. Fantastic. Uh, great color as well uh, viewing angles are not too bad on this as well but what people have found is that the screens are not super clear I think uh, for retro games uh, uh, apart from the sort of modern IPS LCDs I think that you're gonna get the best experience with analog stick uh, screens as well <laughs> So check this out, the colors are pretty bright, uh, colors are pretty good, the screen is pretty bright and yeah no problems at all with this screen. Uh, you need to do some frame buffering in order to get uh, uh, the text uh, being more visible uh, and not fuzzy but otherwise great screen overall. Check the viewing angles, yeah not too bad as well. Alright, so next up we have uh, a SPI screen. Now this one is one of those uh, DIY screens uh, that most people use in their Game Boy Zeros. Uh, regarding the form factor is perfect. I mean, um, I'm building a, a Game Boy Advance with a Raspberry Pi Zero in it. And that's the only screen I could fit within a Game Boy Advance. But in terms of the brightness and the viewing angles and the, the screen performance overall this is the worst option so far for me uh, but I don't think I had a choice so just have a look at the, the <coughs> excuse me brightness 
is not so great and looks like I don't have the Adventure Island in here <coughs> so I'm gonna try Super Mario Brothers just to look at the colors and brightness I guess so yeah colors are not too bad um, Uh, viewing angles are pretty crappy on this one like you have to look at a certain sort of sweet window of viewing angle and that's the only <coughs> angle that you can look at it otherwise it, it will be completely washed out and also in terms of performance as you can see it's a little bit on the slow side obviously because it's running on a Raspberry Pi Zero and Raspberry Pi Zero can't allow um, because it's got only single core GPU. It can't allow to have one GPU dedicated to this to powering the screen itself. So yeah, overall, I think the SPI is the the probably the worst option. All right. So next up, we have uh, another SPI screen. Um, this one is a little more brighter because it can run on the 5 volts uh, rail of the Raspberry Pi 3. This one is powered by Raspberry Pi 3, so it runs a little bit faster, 60 FPS, or trying to do at least. Um, some games run perfectly at 60 FPS, no problems at all. Uh, as I said, because it uses one GPU core, it's a little bit um, slow for some intensive games. Uh, let's fire up the Adventure Island and run through the demo. Uh, viewing angle on this screen are not fantastic. Uh, they're okay. And here uh, the screen got corrupted because I touched the wire a bit. And... Alright, um, so next up we have uh, another wave share screen. Uh, this one is a, a 4.5 or 5.2, I can't remember exactly, but 5.2. 2 inch uh, HDMI uh, screen uh, non IPS uh, so the viewing angles are on this one are not great but the overall the screen is bright enough it's nice and big and when you're playing games on 4 by 3 ratios uh, even with the screen cut out it's, uh, it's still a huge uh, picture uh, which is nice um, this cannot be used on any of the the sort of Game Boy type Game Boy Zero type projects uh, because of the size, obviously. Uh, but I've I've made a custom case uh, for it, and then um, I'll 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 do another video some another time with a with a Bluetooth con like extendable Bluetooth controller in it. Uh, but otherwise, this screen is. Um, Nice and big, uh, good colors, but not great viewing angles. So uh, as you can see, nice colors. Uh, the view, uh, as you kind of uh, rotate the screen a bit, uh, the colors get washed out a little bit. But um, overall, not a bad option. Right, and finally we have Wave Shares uh, three and a half inch um, HDMI screen. Uh, now this one was advertised as uh, being a IPS uh, display, and the viewing ang angles are are good on this one. Um, the the image doesn't get washed out or anything like that. It's very clear, as you can see here, and the refresh rate is obviously really fast, being a sixty FPS. Overall, uh, this one is uh, a good option for DIYers. Um, uh, this can be fit within a within a Game Boy case. Uh, some people have tried it, so pretty good. Uh, All right. So here we have uh, two screens side by side. On your right. We have the game heads uh, screen, and on the left we have the the, the wave shares HDMI screen. 
uh, if you look at the uh, game head screen it's no brainer it's much more brighter much more vibrant and it's just a fantastic screen I absolutely like the screen and it's probably one of the best screen out there for your retro gaming purposes uh, that's it for this video now uh, if you like this video please hit the like button uh, share the video subscribe thank you for supporting my channel bye for now